Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit control processes with Qable Apex from the module Asynchronous Apex. Now here in this unit's challenge, we will be creating a Qable Apex class that insert contact records for accounts. Now, how we are going to do that? What concept uh, do we include for Qable class? Let's quickly see that you have to go to your playground and go to developer console. So we have to create an Apex class by the name add primary contacts. Let's just copy this, go back to files, new Apex class. Whenever we create a queueable Apex class, the very first thing that we have to implement is we have to tell the system that this is a queueable class. So how we can do that? You have to write implements queueable. So every time you create a queueable class, you have to write this as well. Now, moving ahead, we have to, uh, we have added the queueable interface. That's fine. Now we have to create a constructor for the class that accepts two arguments. The first argument has to be contact S object. And the second argument will be of string type for the state abbreviation. So let's just go back here and create the constructor. So constructor is basically a method by the same name as that of class. And here we have to pass two arguments. So let's say contact con first one has to be of type contact. And the second one will be of string type to which we are naming as state ABBR. Now constructor do not have any return type. So we are not placing any return over here. And um, simply we have added the same name as that of the Class. So this specifies that this is a constructor with two arguments, con uh, of type contact S object, and another one is of type string state ABBR. Now here, what we are going to do is we have to, first of all, create two variables of type contact con and another one string state ABBR. These two variables we'll be using in our method ahead where we are going to execute our main logic. Now to these variables, we have to assign the value. This dot con will have the value coming from this argument. And this string state ABBR will have the value coming from the argument state ABBR. Right, so this is our constructor ready to use. Now, next uh, we have to create a execute method here as well in the queueable Apex class. We add an execute method where all the main logic works. So public void execute, and inside the brackets we have to specify queueable context. QC is the very the very first thing that will happen is the execution of constructor. And in the constructor, the user will enter two arguments. One, it will pass the contact. And the other thing uh, will be the string argument state ABBR, state abbreviation, right? Then in the execute logic, what basically we have to do is we are going to query all the accounts where state is where billing state is same as that what's passed in this argument, string argument, straight state ABBR. And when we get that list of accounts, we are going to create the contact associated to that particular account, which we have queried where billing state is state ABBR. And then we are going to create or clone this account record, uh, this contact record, which we have received as the other argument. So let's say, here uh, we have uh, the user has passed one contact and it has provided the name as test contact, right? And the other argument for the other argument for state ABBR, it has passed the argument as or the value as let's say NY, okay? Then we are going to fetch all the accounts where billing state is equal to this NY or the state abbreviation argument. Okay. Then we are going to 
create slash clone this contact passed in first argument that is this con right passed in this con variable or argument and then associate it to the account where it in the first step this is what actually we are doing here let's say if you have uh, 50 records of accounts and billing state is ny okay and you have in this method add primary contact you have passed in this you have passed your contact this co test contact which you have just mentioned in the first step and ny so it will create so the logic in execute method will create 50 contact records associating it to each account okay because we are creating 50 accounts all right so let's just move ahead and see uh, what logic we have to apply that will give you more clarity so first of all we are going to create a list of account select id name from account where let's copy the field billing state billing state is equal to this colon specify that we are going to apply uh, add this variable so this variable uh, since we have assigned values to these variables this global variables on top these constructor argument value so we are taking up this state abbr variable over here all right so where billing state is the same as that what's passed in the constructor now once we have get, got that we are going to loop around all these on all these accounts acc acc list and inside that we are going to create contact clone con record is equals to con dot clone now this con is come this is the same variable which is storing this value if in our case we were passing test contact so this uh, con is containing test contact value so this way we can clone our contact record passed in the constructor argument and then we are going to add this in the list uh, so that we can add insert these contacts all together so bef uh, before adding it to the list we are going to create contact list on list is equals to new list also we have to associate it to the accounts queried in this or the accounts on which we are looping so clone con record and how we can do that using the account id field and we are going to add acc.id over here and once it is done we are going to add this in our list clone con record and since we cannot use dml statements inside a for loop otherwise you can hit the governor limits you are simply going to add the dml statement outside the for loop and insert this list that's all so here uh, the two arguments that we are passing in the constructor contact record and the string state abbreviation we are using state abbreviation to query the accounts and we are using contact s object record passed in the first argument of the constructor to clone the contact record and associating it with the accounts queried based on the billing state and then 
we are inserting those con list uh, con contact records. So this is basically what we're doing here in this Cubable Apex class. That's all. Uh, let's just save this. I'll move ahead to the Apex test class. So here we are going to label it as add primary contact test. And in the test class, we have to insert 50 account records for billing state NY and 50 account records for billing state CA. Let's go back here. New Apex class. Add the annotation is test. Now here we are going to add test setup. Add setup. Inside this, uh, create a list of account, ACC list is equals to N4 integer I is equals to zero, I less than 50 and the incremental I. Inside this, we have to create account. And then here, let's say name is equals to test plus I, which will dynamically be named. And here, uh, let's say billing state is equals to NY, right? And then ACC list dot add ACC. Again, uh, we are going to copy this for loop and paste it over here and change the name as well. Let's say test ACC. Also change the billing state to CA. So this is going to create a list of ACC where if, if there are total 100 account records out of which 50 are the one with the name test 01, 02, and so on and so forth. And the billing state is NY. Where are other 50 are with the name test ACC 0102 and billing state CA. So in total, 100 records. Now insert this list, ACC list. So we have created uh, the accounts as mentioned in the challenge. Like in the test class, insert 50 accounts for billing state NY and 50 accounts for the billing state CA. Now we have to create an instance of add primary contact class in queue the job and assert the contact record was inserted for the for each of the 50 accounts with billing state of CA. So let's just go back here, create another method at is test and then let's name it as add primary underscore test and inside this first of all we are going to create a contact record which we'll be passing as an argument in the constructor so that the clone contact record can be created tested clone is the name that i'm giving to the account record contact record and after which uh, we'll just add test dot start test test dot stop test and the asynchronous process that we have to call is going to create the instance which equals to new and then here dot in q job like this the instance variable after which we are going to apply the system dot assert as well we are asserting that there will be 50 contact records that will be created so let's say select now here either you can use count aggregate variable or you can simply use count id from contact where account dot billing state is equals to and after that dot size so 50 should be equivalent to the size of this the records uh, that has been created as part of the process so now here we are getting one error constructor not defined at primary contact. Okay. All right. This error is coming because uh, we have instantiated here with a no constructor. Whereas in our epics class, we have a constructor with two arguments. So we have to do that as well here. So con is the first contact record is the first argument. And the second argument is the state. So here I'm passing the state CA. All right the ca now let's just save this let's test this as well open anonymous window now here first of all uh, let's create a contact i'll copy this from the test class so we are going to create contact records where last name will be tested clone and i'll copy this from the test class as well now here uh, we are passing con contact and ca in the arguments now as soon as i'll click on this execute button it will go inside this it will call the constructor it will pass these two arguments here and these two arguments value will be assigned to our global variable con and state abbreviation by using these two lines 
after which our execute method will run and here it will query the account records where billing state is state ABBR, that is CA in our case, since we are passing CA, then here it will loop around on all those account records where billing state is CA. And then it is going to create a clone copy of this contact record tested clone. It will create a clone and it will eventually relate it to the, or associate it with the account which we have received from this list on which we are looping as well. And it will eventually add it into the con list. And finally, it is going to insert this contact list. So let's see what data we have actually in our Epix class, uh, in our org before we hit on this execute. So let's first check the data. So for that, you have to go to account and let's see how many accounts are there with the billing state as CA. So right now we have two, one is this one and S force gene point and S force. So let's just add CA to pyramid as well as to the sample account for entitlement. Just click on save. So now in total, we have four accounts where CA is equal to where billing state is equals to CA. Now let's go to contacts as well. So go to this list view new this week. So as of now, there are no new records created this week. So let's just go to developer console and click on execute. As soon as I'll click on execute, there should be contact records created by the last name tested clone. And they should get associated to these four accounts that we have seen here, having the billing state as CA. So let's just go back, click on execute. Let's go back to the account list and S4. So let's go to contact list open up new this week again. And now you can see there are four contact record created by the name tested clone and the account name associated are the same, which has billing state equal to CA. So this verify that our Epix class is working absolutely fine. And this is what expected from the outcome. So let's just do the final thing. We have to go to test and click on run all so that uh, to see whether we have got the hundred percent coverage. So let's go to test. So our test has been passed. Let's go to the Epix class as well and see what coverage we are getting the hundred percent coverage as well. So th this was all that we have to do as part of this unit challenge and hope I was able to convey all the concepts or at least explain you the logic that what we are implementing over here. Let's go back here and click on check challenge button to see whether we have passed it. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.